Hey guys, how are you today? So I have spent the afternoon here chatting with a friend, cleaning out some more bins. I have a large flat rate priority mailbox I'm gonna be putting in the empty store this week that um, is filled with painty papers, copies of painty papers, um, some um, textury things like um, um, produce netting bags, colored netting bags. Um, there's some embroidery hoops in there, a few cross stitch charts, some old jewelry, some beads, um, some the, and the said jewelry and beads are in some storage bins. Like the box is so full, you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna list in Nancy shop. It's it's a low price. Um, and, um, it's that price plus shipping. And so, yeah, if you're interested, go check it out. I'll put the listing in the uh, description below. I'm going to edit a couple more videos and try to get some stuff edited before dinner. It's like three o'clock and that's my goal for today. Get video edited and I need to film something real quick for my creative year for tomorrow morning. Cause I kind of forgot and tomorrow's the first of June. So that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Monday afternoon, June 1st. I don't know what time it is. Sometime after two o'clock, I think. What do you know? It's not as late as I thought it was. It's only 1.55. <laughs> that's, that's a huge deal. Anyway, I'm headed to get the mail. Um, you know, can we just have a do-over on 2020? <laughs> Holy cow. Okay, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I don't normally do haul videos or things like that. I don't want to make you all feel like you have to have certain products to create art and be creative. Uh, that being said, this isn't really a haul clip. This is just a, oh my God, Michaels, what are you thinking clip? <laughs> so the kids got me a Michaels gift card for Mother's Day, which I used quite a while ago, and they're taking their sweet time getting me my things. And literally, I'm going to show you the box in a minute, but literally there are three spools of button and carpet thread. Three in this box. Do you wanna see the box? This is the box. Can I even get it all? There we go. For this. Literally, other than air bubble, there's nothing else in. Really, really? Oh my God. <laughs> You, what are you thinking? And they sent me some. I have. I ordered fabric too, and not all the fabric has shipped yet, which is a whole other conversation. But I ordered some muslin, which also came today in a separate package when they could have put it in with the thread. I don't understand. And the little box has three spools like this in it. Again, that's the box. Holy crap! Okay, guys, sorry about the weird lighting, but I've got the light on my computer desk right there. The other table is full of stitching, a stitching project. Um, I had my friend Lisa Swink, who I knew was going to send me what I thought was just, she found some um, spools of silk buttonhole twist and some embroidery floss. She said she wasn't going to use, but I like it. And I said, sure. So she says, oh, I'll send it to you. And holy cow, I got this box. <laughs> this is more than a couple <laughs> spools thread Lisa oh my gosh what did you do and it's in this really great um, bag drawstring bag it's really full so there is some embroidery floss in some great colors including some greens which I'm running low on I go with I don't know it comes in cycles of different colors um, some burlap and uh, ay, 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 ay. what is this stuff called? This stuff, which is great. I have actually a bin of this kind of thing. I love it. Ooh, lace and ribbon and trims and things, which some of which I might be able to use in the stitch that I'm working on right now. Some seam binding, which is lace. I see fabric in here more ribbon and it looks like white seam binding isn't that ribbon pretty oh and here's the silk button i'll twist and yes lisa that's the exact same kind i've been using so yes 
Fabulous, the one, wooden ones. Yep, that's what I've been sewing with. I love it. Here's another spool of thread. What is this? Ooh, buttons. It says Coates and Clark zipper, neck opening zipper. It's an old, isn't the container cool? And it's full of buttons. Oops. That's cool. All right. I don't have my reading glasses on. Um, some more buttons and some fat quarters. I'm not sure if they came together or not. But there's some pretty batik print fabric. Great colors. And there's buttons there. Buttons there. More ribbon and trims on the cardboard spools. There's some more. Ooh, elastic. Can always use that right now. So there's a bunch of different kinds of elastic. And believe it or not, even though it's vintage elastic, it's usually still really good. I mean, I've only run into one, I think, that wasn't good enough to use. Some more elastic. And that is one that's a wide one, but sometimes they make elastic in a way that you can cut it apart to make it thinner. See that? So I can cut it apart into thirds to make masks. Bias tape. Look at all, look at, look at this. It's lace, uh, seam binding and more bias tape. Holy cow, Lisa, what did you do? Thank you so much, this is wonderful. There's another little package here that I think she said in the note was maybe some watercolor paper that I might like to try. Besides stitching, I do like watercoloring and everything was wrapped in this tissue paper. Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press. Ooh, it's some black watercolor paper. I do have some black, but it's not this brand. And I have some metallic watercolors. I want to try on that. That is wonderful. Uh, it's not the only one that's in here. I only expected a couple spools of thread. <laughs> that's all I expected. Um, oh, more black paper. This one is Van Gogh watercolor paper, black, um, fine grain. Let's see. Cold, it's cold for us. I can tell by feeling it. So I will have to do some metallic watercoloring and try the different papers out. And dig out the pad I have because I don't remember what the brand is. Um, there's not a lot of companies that make black paper, but it would be nice to do a comparison, do some little paintings. So anyway, thank you, Lisa, so much for the happy mail. I appreciate it so much. I'll link her channel in the description below. Go follow her. She's a talented mixed media artist and good friend. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back. Okay, so we, of course, are going to go out on our evening walk. We're going before dinner, which I like to do when we can. Of course, I have one of these with me. We're just outside the house and there's no people, so I'm good. Anyway, how nice of that was was that of Lisa, my friend Lisa, to send me all that happy mail. Right away I pulled some things out to work on the uh, slow stitch I'm working on, the slow stitch um, journal. And um, if you want to make one, um, I'm not going to film it because it's not my idea, but I'll link the video where I got the idea down below and you guys can follow along. So anyway... We're gonna go get some steps in and I'll be back. See, I like walking between five and six because the few people you do run into, well, all the people you run into around here are super nice. We just talked to a very nice young man. He was sitting on his front porch with his computer. He looks so comfortable. Mm -hmm. I told him, I think I need a front porch. Had his, had his feet up. He, wearing, he did. Pair of shorts. He looks so comfortable. So anyway, it's also not very people-y at this time though. Everybody's having dinner. So I don't have to wear this because there's like literally nobody around. So yay. All right, time to get some steps. Hey guys, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, June 2nd. And I'm obviously in the car. I have some Etsy orders that came in. I've got to go take them to the post office box, please. 
McCann's is still open until the 1st of September. So I'm gonna use that opportunity to just run down there and drop them off and not have to go to the main post office. And then we're gonna go home and do some stitching. And I gotta finish my little embroidery thing I'm working on. It's another little bear. So he's taking me a couple of days longer. I don't think the next one's gonna be any shorter because it's a little bunny and he's got a lot of cha thread changes also. So yeah, it's okay, I'm having fun doing it. So anyway, it's gonna be a quiet day. I think, I don't think I'm gonna get up to a lot. I do think I'm going to, like I said, get some stitching done. We'll go for a walk later, but just a quiet day at home. There's nothing much to do because of the pandemic and the protests going on uh, were under curfew and I am not physically able to participate in a peaceful protest. I can't take a knee. <laughs> I've got bad knees for those that don't know and I, so physically I literally can't take a knee. I'd end up sitting So you know the drill. We're out on our evening walk. I do have Hey guys. So obviously I'm in the car. I'm going out again this week for the second time. Um, I have more Etsy orders that have to go in the mail that are too big for my little drop box at the house. So when that happens, either I or Bob have to take them in and drop them off. So 
I try to use the opportunity of leaving the house wisely and only leave the house a minimal number of times. So while I'm out, I'm going to check the new P.O. box. I'm going to get some groceries and I, if Joann's is open, I might pop into to Joann's for a couple things that I need for the current slow stitch I'm working on that I'm out of. He's laugh. He's laughing. You did. Go get him. You go do your vlog. Yeah. Anyway, it's another weird day because you know, hello apocalypse. I don't know what to say. Um, I spent the afternoon finishing our little bear friend. Uh, I'll put a picture here instead of "I love you" on the blanket. I put hugs. I thought it just seemed to fit better right now. Um, I brought my slow stitch book downstairs with a, a tray of basting supplies and I'll be working on getting that basted together tonight well, at least some of it tonight I have had a good question about that um, somebody asked me uh, on it uh, slow stitching by the way is just hand stitching and embroidery um, somebody asked me about pinning everything together don't you find that gets in the way of the embroidery so I do sort of a running stitch basting thing on my slow stitches. If you haven't watched any of my slow stitching videos, um, I do that first and take all the pins out and then I go back and add maybe more pieces of fabric, embroidery stitches, beads, buttons, and that sort of thing. So right now a lot of the pages are pinned together so I'll be basting them together later. I cleaned up and reorganized my dies for my Sizzix Big Shot. and. I was having trouble finding my little thin thinlets dies. It was making me crazy, so I reorganized that a bit so it's all better now. And that's about it. Did a lot of grocery shopping, but we should be good for at least another week or so, maybe longer. And the only time that we really have to go in between is for fresh things. We run out of, you know, milk and creamer and produce and that's that sort of stuff. The fresh stuff. Anyway, we might actually brave Costco this weekend. Maybe. So we are running out of, out of a few things that we haven't bought in like two or three months that we usually get at Costco. Yeah, 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 so. Yeah, that might be a thing. And no, not toilet paper. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's it for the moment. We're gonna go for our walk and I'm gonna get some steps in. Hopefully I won't need this and there's no people around, but we'll see. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Thursday morning, June 4th. I think it's morning, hold on. Yeah, it's 11.26 a.m. And so I spent the morning, hold on, there we are. I spent the morning getting the house clean and um, cleaning bathrooms and toilets and wiping down the kitchen counters and, you know, it's normal stuff. Um, and then, of course, I came down upstairs to check on social media and the YouTube channel and everything and the statement in my vlog last week so far has been taken very well. Um, thank you all for support of said statement. If you want to know what it is, you got to go watch last week's vlog. Um, and again, my thoughts and prayers go with the Floyd family and anyone else who has experienced uh, that sort of violence towards them. That's just unacceptable. Uh, unacceptable. I have police officers in my family. They're they're the good guys, and they're they would be the first ones to say it's unacceptable. Um. Anyway, much less the pandemic and everything else that's going on in the world. World, right? So, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I've been um, doing slow stitching and. Um, watching Ann Brooks' um, channel, um, I was doing the slow stitching um, spools. I still am. 
And right now we're working on a book for, with her channel. I'll link her channel in the description below. Um, one of the things I learned from her is English paper piecing, which I, I, I've been sewing for since literally since I was like seven or eight. So I'd heard of it before, but I'd never done it. And um, because of the slow stitching adventure, I decided, I decided to take it up. And on our last one, we did hexagons. So I figured out how to use my silhouette to cut a bunch of hexagons that are the exact same shape. I have a silhouette cameo, cameo, the little one, um, which I don't use nearly enough because fun fact, I've discovered part of my journey that I not only don't like making junk journals, I'm really not a huge fan of paper crafts. I do them occasionally, but it's not my jam. Um, but I do enjoy making things like this and stencils with my silhouette. And um, so I discovered, uh, I created a file that I could cut a bunch of these little small hexagons with it. And um, then I have uh, templates. That's it. Then I have a bunch of these little card stock templates with which to make these little fabric hexagons. Now, when you sew them together, after you get them all sewn together, then you take the paper out. Now, the paper is generally hand basted in around the shape and then you press it. I discovered because of Tula Pink, whose channel I will also link below, um, this um, this is by Sew Line and it is a fabric glue stick. It's a fabric basting glue stick. So much easier than stitching it. And I've literally, like these are all finished ones and I have to literally push, it. let's see, hold on. I have them stored in this jar and I have to push it down like this to get the extra templates in. <laughs> And then hold it and try to get the lid on because I have to, I have to use some of them up. Oh, see what I mean? There we go. <laughs> uh, someday that's going to just explode, I think. But so I try to have them pre-made and then when I'm working on a stitch, I can just grab the jar and take them out and I have them. But it dawned on me after watching a few other stitching videos and quilting videos and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> that, I wonder if I can do a circle, because that would be cool. And there is a um, tool that's being touted around the internet um, that's basically two washers that fit inside each other and you put the fabric in between and then press it and it makes a circle. And while that's all well and good, I'm not gonna spend 30 bucks on a tool when I don't have to. And I did set up a silhouette file, so to cut a bunch of the same size circle, about the same size as the hexagons, and figured out how to make some circles. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna point the camera at the table. So you're gonna need some circles, any size. These are, I don't know, just over about a half an inch. Let's see. Uh, oh, I take that back. They're like an inch and a quarter. Yeah, they're about an inch and a quarter, um, which is a good size for what I'm going to do with them, either on a um, in the slow stitch journal or on a composition slow stitch or um, on a spool. This is a good size. I like working with this, with this size, but whatever size you like working with, cut a bunch of circles the exact same size. And if you have a um, silhouette or Cricut or something, it should be pretty easy to set up a file now. For those who have a silhouette, if you want the um, SVG file, I can give it to you. Um, I can put it in a Dropbox. Let me know in the description below and I can we can work that out. I can do the hexagon one too. Um, but I think the file only works with silhouette. So, and I'm really a rookie with the silhouette. So anyway, so you need a bunch of these and you need some fabric. All right, hang on. Let me point the camera at the, at the ironing board. Okay, you're gonna need a scrap of fabric that's uh, big, that's slightly bigger than your circle. And then just hold the two of them together and take some scissors and just roughly cut around your circle, leaving about a quarter of an inch of fabric all the way around. Doesn't have to be perfect by any stretch. Just like that. Then we're gonna take our basting glue stick. Now this washes out 
not that any of my slow stitches ever get washed, but this is intended for fabric. I don't know how a regular like glue stick would work. Um, I, have, I don't have any experience with that. And you could, of course, um, instead of gluing it, you could stitch it. Um, but you wanna glue all the way around the paper and then you wanna push the fabric up against the cardstock all the way around. There is sort of a technique to it. I found doing it flat on the ironing board is better than holding it. And you sort of push it up where the fabric is gonna wanna fold over on itself around the circle. And you'll get less bumps around the edge of the circle. And then once you have that done, give it a press. And voila. So let's do one more. Now for my people over on Patreon, I will give you guys the hexagon and circle template. Over there, it'll be easy for you to get. If you don't get enough glue on it, see, it wants to just stick up. So put a little more glue there. And then give it a press. If you have too many bumpies while it's warm, you can like push them in. But I think that's pretty good. Are they perfect circle circles? No, but and am I okay with that? Yes. So there you go. Easy applique circles using what I have which, you know, that's kind of the name of the game, right? You don't have to spend any extra money to be creative. I keep saying that. Uh, and of course, I've been saving the, what do the costumers call it? Cabbage. I've been saving the cabbage uh, and using it for stuffing in things like the little owl that I made recently. So all these little tiny scraps, I cut the scraps up tinier, the unusable scraps, the ones that are too small to use. I cut them up pretty small and then I put them in this jar and this becomes stuffing for a pin cushion or if I do a little slow stitch animal like the owl, which I'll put a picture of the owl here somewhere. Um, then I grab this and it's cheap, free, cause it's free, uh, stuffing for things. So yeah. You can use polyfill, of course. You can go out and buy polyfill, but why buy polyfill all the time when you can just use cabbage? So they're my tips for the day. All right, I'm going to get back to it, and I'll be back. You know, it's June 4th, and I finally got May's mission inspiration done. <laughs> I'll put a picture here. Anyway, um, I went and looked to see if Mike Deacon had posted the June one yet, and he hasn't, so... But I got the main one done and got some more pages basted together in the slow stitch book. And I got the positive affirmation doll caught up again, although he's quickly running out of room. And the longer we stay in this stressful locked up situation, uh, the harder it's going to get to find places to sew words to him. So that's going to be a thing. House is clean. I should probably do some laundry. Don't really want to though. I'd rather veg in front of the iPad, maybe read a book. Good morning. Technically it's still morning. It's just before lunch, Friday, June 5th. Yeah, June 5th. <laughs> um, headed out to go get the mail. Bringing a pen with me. I need to put a pen on the mailbox key. We keep getting this one piece of mail back um, from a person who, as far as I know, has never lived at my house, <laughs> um, keeps getting sent back. So I'm going to write a very clear message on the envelope, um, about the person not living here, should it be in the mailbox. But one of my goals this weekend, if we go out anywhere, is to get a key, a pen. You know, they have little mini pens that have like a key ring in the lid. 
a pen to stick on this. Because, yeah, this is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to check the mail, have some lunch, and then I think we're going to go for an early walk because the kids are all coming over for dinner. And I, I don't know if they're going to want to go walking or not. So, yeah. All right, I'll be back. So, we're out walking at lunchtime because all the kids are coming over later and we're not sure if they're going to want to walk or not. Uh, but we'll see. But we thought we'd make sure we get our steps in. We're down here by the little creek. It's a little bit peopley down here, so I've got my mask. But not too bad. Lunchtime during the week. Even though everybody's home, I think most of the kids are doing lessons and that kind of thing. Most people are working from home, so I think it's less people-y than it is in the evening. Anyway, it's a pretty view. So yeah, I'll yeah. see what kind of pictures I can get and we'll see what we can see. I'll be back. It is Saturday morning, June 6th, right? Yep. It is 10.06 a.m., thereabouts. Um, we are headed to Costco, which for those who don't live in the U.S. is a big box warehouse store. Yep. Uh, grocery store. And we haven't been to a Costco since this whole mess started. I think it was maybe January since we've been to Costco. Yeah, something like that. So the pandemic happened and then the protesting and rioting happened and things at Costco have been insane and along with a lot of other places. And yeah, we've been avoiding it like the plague. <laughs> like the plague. <laughs> uh, anyway, so.
Hey guys, it's Saturday evening. It's just before 8 o'clock. We are headed to the store. We were hunting down a, another missing package because my post office has yet again said they delivered a package that they never delivered. They lied to you. Yeah, my guess is they just didn't want to deliver it today for whatever reason. That's what they do here in Oregon and I don't know. Hopefully it shows up Monday, and there's nobody for me to call till Monday anyway, so, you know, hopefully it shows up. Anyway, we're going to go take this opportunity of being out of the house to run one more errand that we need to run, and yeah, it's been a weird week. It hasn't been super bad for us personally, but it's been bad for the world. But yeah, it's been a weird week. Everybody stay safe out there. Holy cow. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. If you have a way to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, not only for my channel and my content, but other creative content, uh, that would be great. Uh, most of us have something in the video description. I know I do. There's a number of different ways. Um, if your favorite creative doesn't have something, ask them, because they probably have something. Maybe they just don't have it in the, they're not advertising, maybe. So, Stay safe, everybody. Stay healthy. Stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. 